This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall, and I'm in Northern California. It's May 20th, 2019. I want to cite fair usage of this David Wilkerson uh, sermon. He went on to be with the Lord, but he founded that Times Square church that I, I somehow happened upon in, in the videos I've made. Uh, I want to thank a sister for sending me this link. So it's only going to be about one minute, I believe, not much more than that. And I want you to hear what he says. So he's quoting the prophet Isaiah about how Isaiah prophesied that like in our time, in, in this generation, the gates would be dissolved and that most most prophets and scholars agreed that that was a nuclear event. So I'll play. Burning. Now, secular prophets and those in homeland security, whether it's in the United States or England or Germany, all over the world now, they, they are saying that, that there's going to come a nuclear accident or a nuclear holocaust coming to a city. They often name New York City. You, you know what's happened here. We lived through the 9-11 experience. And you could look out of the apartment, especially where we are, you could see the burning and see the fire and the smoke ascending to heaven. And a few weeks ago, remember the eruption of the steam pipe and uh, the earth opened up and swallowed a truck and you saw pictures of people running everywhere and they're screaming, is this it, is this it? They're thinking nuclear. And the scripture says, when you go through Isaiah, the 24th chapter, it, it says that the gates are going to be dissolved. The gates are going to be uh, devastated. That means the exits and entrances. We don't know where it is. The city is named and a burning and a fire is mentioned here. I've been prophesying for a number of years that uh, of something I saw when I was on the street and in on Broadway and 42nd Street and it's come back to me many many times of a thousand bur fires burning did you hear that Broadway and 42nd Street so I'm gonna go to Google Earth before I do let me share a dream I had last night before I even watch this video so the sequence of events <clears throat> which is quite amazing is I had a prophetic dream last night and I'll quickly share what it was so I'm in this what seemed like a classroom and there was younger children in this classroom you know probably between 8 and 14 I guess or something if I was to guess they were all in this classroom and there was a couple there was a couple of military leaders in this classroom and it was like we'd been taken to a bunker and so I'm sitting in there we're not in desks or anything we're just free to walk around but it's it's well known that we're being protected in this bunker <clears throat> and so it's just normal conversation and all of that and no one really seems to know anything and all of a sudden I hear this sound go off like someone had received a text you know like a beep beep like that and I was curious that no one reacted to that. And so I'm like, where did that come from? And so I go all the way to the other side of the room. And I'm the only one doing this. It's like they're asleep. <laughs> walking, you know, sleepwalking. I don't know. <laughs> it was strange. And so I go over and I see this machine. And it's an LED machine with a printout kind of like a caller ID box and this is exactly what it read it said nuclear bombs have left the USA nuclear bombs have left the USA and I turned to everybody and I said hey this message says nuclear bombs have just departed you know what I mean? And the military leaders are like, well, those things could be wrong sometimes. 
But if they, if they have, sometimes it takes a while to hear anything. Might as well just relax. And then I woke up. And I'm thinking, so then I come out here and I receive an email for a link to that video. And, and you know, that he's talking about the same map I am, David Wilkerson. And, and he says nuclear twice. And I'm like, my Holy Spirit just is like, these confirmations I get, I can't explain it. So I bring up Broadway in 42nd that he just mentioned in that short clip. And it's the same map. Garment Theater, Broadway and 42nd is right here. Theater District, it's the same exact map. Now, now watch this. Saints, you cannot make this up. So I, I, I go to zoom in. So all I did was put Broadway and 42nd, New York, in Google Earth. And I go to zoom in. Now, what, I'm going to show you exactly what I did. Because I wanted to zoom down to street level. But as I began to zoom closer and closer look what i saw look at the bottom of the screen four 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 random you see what i mean it's right there on the building like out of all the places in the world it's a four 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 and some people are going to say well what's four 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 what does that mean well i've always believed that 44 meant judgment but i literally seen four 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 on clocks my wife and i did for years and years and we quit seeing four 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 then we started seeing three 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 and two 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 and then one 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 it was like a countdown I mean, but 444 is a number I've seen all the time as a, a warning sign. And now here it is at Broadway and 42nd. Where you see. <laughs> and so I, I continue to go all the way down to street level. Looks like I'm stuck in some kind of building. So we'll just go down to street level. We'll just take this guy and drag it if that's easy. Oh, great. It's kind of doing its own thing. But this is where... Let me try that again. Hold on. I mean, this is important. I don't know why it's acting like this. Other than we have an enemy. Okay, so we want to be on 40... Okay, here we go. See how they do? So we want to zoom in right here, and I want to, sh this is really important. 444, anybody know what that is? Is it a LED clock, or, I mean, what is it? At 42nd and Broadway, New York. I've never been to New York. So I come down here to street level. Now let me show you something. So this is from the prophecy of David Wilkerson. It's also the same exact maps I've been seeing. And so I take a look at what I'm seeing. I take it all in. Just scroll around. What is that supposed to be? A jet or plane? Oh, that's the Walgreens. No way. So it dropped me backwards. Okay, so watch. Let's zoom in on this Walgreens if we can. This is bizarre. It's a different location than I dropped the first time. No way. 3-7. There it is. I showed the Lord. Show me a 3-7. What is this? It's a subway station. Times Square 42nd Street subway station. And the 3 and the 7. And whatever this one is, is burned out or something. I have to show you that Walgreens. There's always going to be a 3-7 involved, the lion, when I receive these warnings. I need to somehow figure out to get closer to this Walgreens. It's very important. For some reason, it won't zoom in. Let, let, me, uh, let me get focused in on that Walgreens. Well, praise God, the enemy was trying to get me up. I had to uh, get me to give up, but I refuse. 
I was able to duplicate the same exact thing. So I, I dropped down to this uh, Walgreens next to a Verizon store. I'll show you around. And for some reason, I think this is where that billboard caught on fire. I mean, in that general area, it sure looks familiar. That electronic billboard that caught on fire. Just looking around. So I spin around and I see this green cross. And I guess it's maybe like, maybe that stands for pharmacy there. I'm really not sure. Or maybe it's an urgent care. So I spin around, and, and then this is what I see. This right here. Mid-Atlantic region. Now keep in mind, there's a three in there. Keep in mind everything, the dream I had, and then the prophecy from David Wilkerson matching the dream, and then looking it up, and it's the same exact area. And I see this mid-Atlantic mid region, and the Holy Spirit quickens me. So I go, and I go put that in Google. And the first thing that pops up is this space flight center called Rocket Labs. Wallops Island, U.S. launch site. I, I put in the mid-Atlantic region. And, and this is what shows up. And so I, I begin to research this because look what's going up. A missile, a rocket. <laughs> and so and so I go to research. I've never heard of this Wallops launch site. I believe, don't quote me, it's in Virginia or somewhere near there. But they just they just launched military satellite or something and they're preparing for another launch. So I come over here and I'm checking their their site. And this is an article from last year, and I kind of look at it, and because I was trying to get to figure out what the image was of that rocket going up, and I come down here and I and I read that the last one they launched was called "It's Business Time," and so I I I see this thing called "Make It Rain" is going to be their next rocket launch, and I'll put a link to this article. And they have a, it's planning its first launch of Electron from U.S. soil and its Wallops facility for quarter three of 2019. Isn't that amazing? This article is from 2018. So I zoom in on this Electron and it's a type of rocket. And so, and then I found out that they're preparing a launch uh, from this Electron rocket called uh, Make It Rain. And so, I mean, the make it rain just sounds weird. And so I go look up this make it rain. And look at this. This happens quite often. It says it was published May 20th, 2019. That's today. At 1.20 p.m. So on the East Coast, it would have to be 10.20 a.m. here for it to be 1.20 p.m. there because there's a three hour difference this this time and date right here hasn't even hasn't even came yet there's the current date and time it, it won't come for another 40 minutes exactly 40 minutes and yet it's I, I don't know how that works it's got zero shares or tweets rocket lab to launch again next month and it says uh, the only way is up Rocket Lab's electron rocket heads into space at its most recent launch from the Mahai site. I'm not sure where that is. Sounds like Hawaii. So hot on the heels of a spectacular night launch earlier this month, the Rocket Lab rocket launch site in Mahai will be back in action in June. I want to see where this is. The United Now listen, the United States-based satellite launch company will put payloads from several organizations into space on a mission procured by satellite rideshare and mission management provider space flight and then it, and, and it says now watch this will include a communication satellite being used by US special forces now continue with me please 
The mission is Rocket Labs. Here's the three and seven again. Seventh electron launch, something I'd never heard of. And then it says in the company's third, there for 2019. Three, seven, the signs I was given of war. And look what other kind of mess they launch. They, 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 the flight follows dedicated mentions launched for DARPA. Do you know, God is speaking here. Does anybody know what DARPA is and what they do is pure evil? Mind control and stuff like that. So the mission is named Make It Rain. Among the satellites on the mission for space flights are Black Skies, Global 4, two of the U.S. Special Operations Commands, Prometheus. Does anybody know what that stands for? Was that like some old false god or Rome or Greek or something? This is too much. All because, see, how was this triggered? God showed me a prophetic dream that, that nuclear missiles had departed the USA and no one else seemed to be acting on it at all. Shows how they're asleep. And this DARPA, you can do your own research on that. It's evil. But let's check out this Mahaya. I mean, it, and it all being the same exact map. I've shown this map three times in the last three days. I, I'm assuming this is Hawaii, but I don't like the Mahaya. Oh, it's New Zealand. Because they do mention New Zealand. So let's go look at this. And then I'll end the video. I don't know about you, but these prophecies are becoming so clear with such clarity and, and exactness that, I mean, it just shows me that, you know, there can't be much time left. So apparently they have a, a rocket launch site here. But why are they launching DARPA's things? Gisborne. So yeah, we're in the right area. Because I remember they mentioned this in the article. Gisborne. Todd Napier down here from Hidden Bright. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it does say Napier, though. I mean, you have to laugh. I mean, let me check one more thing and I'll end the video. Let me just punch in DARP. I'll put a bunch of links on this thing. Let me ask you something, because everybody's an expert on the Internet, right? What do you think? Isn't CIA use DARPA? So DARPA stands for Defense Advanced Research Project. And you know who works with them? The CIA. And they do bad things. Trust me, it's no good. I've seen enough. You know, I didn't really even want to make this video, but in obedience to God, I do. You know, amen. Thank you, everyone. Help me share this like this. It, it Times are crazy. So, in other words, the Holy Spirit just dropped this in my spirit. Missiles had already been launched. In other words, the uh, World War had already been started. But over here in the U.S., no one knew. They was all just asleep. But one hearing from God saw the writing on the wall and tried to warn others, and they're like, relax. And so I'm not putting a date on this. This is a future event that will happen. I've had these dreams since the sixth grade, and they continue to come to pass over and over and over and over. And I know the type of feeling in these prophetic dreams. I know my Savior, Jesus Christ. I know that this is going to happen in the future. That nukes will depart from the USA, which means that they will also be incoming. Fulfilling these prophecies. 